who will follow our footsteps. I thank you. Have you ever paused to ponder what makes President William Ruto tick? The enigma that is Kenya's President Ruto has long been a topic of intrigue and curiosity. His personality is like a kaleidoscope multifaceted and ever-changing, leaving many to wonder who the real William Ruto is. He stands as a figure of intense debate, a subject of ongoing analysis and discussion, not just within Kenya's political corridors but also among the nation's citizens, from the bustling streets of Nairobi to the tranquil farms of the Rift Valley. His political journey, marked by resilience and strategic maneuvering, evokes a myriad of reactions, with some hailing him as a beacon of hope for the marginalized and others criticizing his methods and past controversies. This intricate web of perceptions adds to the enigma of President Ruto, so buckle up as we delve into the enigma that is President William Ruto, Politics is a game of strategy, and President Ruto is a master player. He's often characterized as a shrewd political strategist with a knack for building alliances, navigating the complex political landscapes of Kenya, and capitalizing on opportunities. His ability to find common ground with various political factions and to leverage these relationships to his advantage speaks volumes about his political acumen. But strategy alone is not enough to survive in the tumultuous world of politics. Resilience is key, and this is another area where President Ruto shines. He's known for his ability to overcome setbacks and bounce back from political challenges. This persistent and determined nature has helped him navigate through numerous political storms, always emerging on the other side, often stronger than before. Yet the hallmark of Ruto's political journey is his populist appeal. He's considered adept at connecting with rural and marginalized communities using populist rhetoric and promises of economic empowerment. He's not just a politician making promises. He's a leader who understands the plight of the common Kenyan citizen. His speeches often resonate with the struggles of the everyday man, creating a sense of hope and possibility. However, it's important to note that the same populist rhetoric that endears him to many also draws criticism. His detractors argue that his promises often outsize his capacity to deliver, leading to disillusionment and dissatisfaction among his followers. That said, it's undeniable that these traits, strategic aptitude, resilience and populist appeal, have played a significant role in Ruto's political journey, shaping his public persona and contributing to his political success. They've helped him navigate the treacherous waters of Kenyan politics, building a formidable political career along the way. Clearly, Ruto's political acumen is a significant part of his persona. It's his ability to strategize, to bounce back from setbacks, and to connect with the masses that sets him apart in Kenya's political landscape. But, as we delve deeper into the enigma that is President Ruto, it's important to remember that these traits are just one part of a much larger picture. What kind of leader is President Ruto? This question sparks an array of responses, each reflecting a facet of his leadership style. Firstly, President Ruto is often viewed as having an authoritarian streak. This inclination towards centralized decision-making and control can be seen as a double-edged sword. On one hand, it can lead to efficient decision-making, providing clear direction and stability. On the other hand, this approach can potentially undermine democratic processes, overruling checks and balances, and muffling dissenting voices. However, it's not all about control and command. President Ruto is also recognized for his pragmatic approach to leadership. By focusing on practical solutions and economic development, he prioritizes tangible results over ideological rigidity. This pragmatism is often evident in his policies, which are designed to address the immediate needs of Kenyans, particularly those in rural and marginalized communities. But what really sets President Ruto apart is his charisma. He possesses a certain charm and persuasiveness that helps him connect with supporters on a personal level. His ability to weave personal narratives and use relatable language allows him to mobilize and inspire his followers. This charisma, coupled with his populist rhetoric, forms a potent mix that has helped him build strong support bases across the country. 
It's important to note that these traits, authoritarianism, pragmatism, and charisma, can interact in complex ways. For instance, his charisma can make his authoritarian tendencies more palatable, while his pragmatism can temper his charisma, preventing it from becoming mere demagoguery. These traits paint a picture of Ruto's leadership style. But what about the man behind the politician? This question leads us to delve deeper into his personal traits, which can provide further insights into his leadership style and its impact on Kenya's political landscape. But that's a story for our next scene. Until then, keep in mind that understanding a leader's style requires a nuanced perspective, one that appreciates the complexity of leadership and the multifaceted nature of human personality. Beyond the political stage, who is William Ruto? Let's delve into the personal traits that shape the man. Renowned for his work ethic, Ruto is often described as a workaholic. His tireless dedication and drive towards achieving his goals paint a picture of an individual who is relentless in pursuit of his ambitions. Religion also plays a significant role in Ruto's life. His strong Christian faith not only shapes his worldview, but also influences his political outlook and rhetoric. Yet, alongside these commendable traits, Ruto carries a controversial reputation. His past involvement in corruption allegations and certain political tactics have earned him criticism, painting a picture of a man who is ruthless and manipulative in his quest for power. Now let's switch gears and talk about how the public perceives Ruto. He is indeed a divisive figure. On one hand, you have supporters who praise his leadership skills and promises of economic growth. On the other hand, detractors criticize his perceived authoritarian tendencies and past controversies. The Kenyan media plays a significant role in shaping this public perception. As you might expect, the narratives presented often contrast, depending on whether the outlet aligns with or opposes Ruto. This dichotomy further fuels the divide in public opinion. Public opinion is divided, but one thing is certain, Ruto leaves no one indifferent. So, is President Ruto a narcissist or simply misunderstood? We've explored his political acumen, leadership style, personal traits and public perception, from his strategic prowess and populist appeal to his controversial past and divisive image. Remember, understanding personality is complex and reducing someone to a set of labels can be misleading. It's crucial to critically evaluate information and consider diverse perspectives. In the end, your interpretation of President Ruto's personality will be as unique as the man himself. They went to court, they stole the thing, nine years, imagine, taking us from one courtroom to another. Then I called them and I told them, look at me in the eye, my friends. You have to stop this shit. You have to stop, sorry, you have to stop this nonsense. <laughs> yeah, it cannot continue like this, right? And they realized that I was not joking, you know? So we agreed on an out-of-court settlement because they knew very well that they were beneficiaries of this whole conundrum.